Okay, this is my BioLite Power Light. It was part of the Nano Grid system, and uh, I believe I got it back in about 2015. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is I was actually hoping to replace the lithium battery inside, and I watched a video of another guy who did the BioLite camp stove, and uh, he was able to take out the battery pack and re-solder onto the battery pack and then and then put it back together. Um, the power light, so my battery was dead. Um, it had been dead for, for over a year, so I wasn't really worried about uh, if I ended up breaking it. Um, but I really was hoping to take the battery out and replace it. Um, BioLite really doesn't seem to want uh, you to work on these things or to be able to replace the battery. So I'll show you pretty quickly um, where you may be able to um, to drill. So. I started with two spots and I've kind of mocked it up. So this end popped off with tabs. Inside here, we've got the LEDs. And this was, I, I really like the flashlight. Um, it never worked very well as, um, like for charging a cell phone or anything like that for me. But uh, I really like the lantern. I really like the flashlight. Um, I actually started down here and I thought that I'd be able to pry this section off um, and I wasn't able to. There's actually screws on the inside here. So under this cover there was a Phillips screw and so once that Phillips screw is out it actually did not still come apart easily. I'm pretty sure this thing was waterproof or water resistant and this whole bead here um, really stuck down. So I actually, I really had to pry it to get it off. Now, I may still be able to reassemble this, but if you wanted to do it, if you still had one, you wanted to replace the battery, you can see right here under the O, um, you'll have to drill through here or basically right through that battery symbol. And I'll show you why, because with this cover off, there's a post here and there was really no way to get that off without breaking it. So I loosened everything up. I let go of the, you know, that silicone that was holding the cover down and I just couldn't get it off without snapping that. But if you drill through here, through the O or through the battery symbol, you might be able to get that out and then just put a dab of silicone back in at the end or reseal. So it might not be perfect if you're able to do it. On this side, it was hooked into the side and the battery compartment's in here. So we've got the LED components, the USB, and there were two Phillips screws. So Phillips screw here, I didn't even remove this one, but you could Without breaking anything at the bottom, you get this cover off. And so down at the bottom, you can see there's those two Phillips screws I was talking about is why you can't disassemble it that way. Here's a lithium battery pack with the leads. And there's that lithium battery. So it is a double battery. It is soldered through here. Um, I may still look for a cheap replacement and try and solder and put this thing back together as, as best I can. Um, but yeah, I've really, I've really bent up this plastic piece um, just to pop that plastic off right through there but with a little luck I may be able to to massage it back into place and uh, and get this working again but hopefully that helps and uh, if you have one of these and the battery is gone and you're able to get a replacement uh, hopefully that'll help with your disassembly okay